Happy Halloween. It is Halloween morning, and this one has gotten a early start on his monster noises. <laughs> Isn't that right, buddy? Nope, nothing for us right now. Say, oh! 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 Just gonna put him out in the yard for my Halloween decorations tonight. So last night I made Rice Krispie treats for Sarah's office Halloween party. I know that technically it's a pumpkin decorating party, but it's actually a Halloween party. So the orange ones are pumpkin pie, Rice Krispie treats, and the purple ones are cinnamon, and the green ones are regular. So I thought that'd be a fun treat. And I made cracker candy, which is just, I can't see that, caramel, cracker, and chocolate. It's pretty tasty. <laughs> so we, we are ready for the day. This is Gabriel's costume number one. He's a penguin. He does not like this thing on his head. But he didn't want to take uh, a nap, so we're going to wear it. So we're going next door to see Aunt Susie and see Papa and everybody over there. Show them our first costume. Where'd everybody go? Today's Halloween. I'm ready to do it. <laughs> you can't figure out how to get that. There you go. He says, "Get this away from me." You want to play peekaboo? <gasps> Well, we did not expect to have a little baby costume party when we went over to see Aunt Susie this morning, did we? <laughs> there, everybody had a good time, I think, possibly except for him. He was kind of over it by the time we were uh, we finished. But that worked up an appetite, so we came back and we're having a bottle. Then hopefully we're gonna go down for an NAP. Because he needs it. So Gabriel finished that bottle and then he took about an hour long nap and I thought I'd get him out of the house for just a little while before it starts to rain. There's a chance for rain today so I thought we'd get out while we can. I don't know if you can tell but uh it's overcast and dreary and kind of it's pretty cool it's in the very low 60s so it kind of feels like Halloween like you would expect Halloween to feel and, and look. So anyway, we wanted to come out and get out of the house for a few minutes, didn't we? <laughs> you know, best bud. So we're about to walk over to a house that I wanna say served as my inspiration for decorating my house for Halloween. When we first moved here, we did a little bit of, uh, you know, some decorations, but not, not to the scale that we have now. Uh, I just used some palettes and something, you know, kind of Pinterest inspired project and did little blood splatters on the palettes and stuff like that. 
but uh, you know, when you move into a new neighborhood, you don't quite know how your neighbors are gonna react to Halloween decorations. And I didn't want anybody calling the police. And you know, there's a psycho living in our in our neighborhood. So, you know, you, you kind of wait. You want to gauge what how their reaction is gonna be. So anyway, um, I remember this house did it up big and was like legit it was pretty good it's pretty great big headstones uh you know concrete uh fence around the around the yard and everything like that and on halloween night i mean people just flocked to their house because their family members would participate and uh, you know you would have people at the doors that would greet them you know wave the kids to, come on come over here and get candy and then you'd have people that were laying out in the yard you know who were, who were playing different characters in the scene and there's always a guy that kind of would sit on a stump or something on a bench and he'd jump out and slam the this this link the, this chain link uh this length of chain on a piece of wood and it made everybody scream and so it'd be fun just to go and watch you know stand across the street and watch the trick-or-treaters sneak up and you know, go up to the house and be afraid of the guy that was going to jump out at him and you could hear the screams like from our house it was it was awesome so anyway, uh, last year they didn't do anything at all. I don't know. We don't know what happened or why not. They didn't, but they didn't put anything out, and uh, it didn't look like they just didn't participate in Halloween last year. And uh, people would come to their house, like we're going up to the door and you know knocking and stuff, and they're like, uh, "We're not doing it this year." Um, but uh, to have you talk to Aunt Susie, who's lived in this neighborhood for a long time, she said they did it every year. They've always done it. And um, so last year was kind of bizarre that they didn't. Well, this year they, they did put out some stuff. It's not to the scale that it, that it was, but they did put stuff out, so they are participating in it. I think I saw the piece of wood, so they may actually be doing the uh, jump out and scare people. So if they do that and it's not raining, I'm going to try to get some footage of it tonight for y'all. But we're gonna about, about to walk by that house and look at those decorations. You having a good time out here? Is it pretty? Do you like the... Looking at the ducks. <laughs> She's having a time of her life. <laughs> Alright, you wanna go look at the house? Okay. This is the house. Really big headstones. And then there's the thing. They usually slam the chains down on that. It startles the garbage out of people. It's not as much as they used to do, but I'm glad to see that they're doing it again, or some of it at least, you know. Because it really seemed to bring a lot of joy to the neighborhood and that's kind of what I wanted to be a part of. So that house is what kind of got me started doing our house is that big, you know? So anyway, glad they're doing it again. We made it back home just in time because I don't know if I can show if you'll be able to see this. The rain has started, which is kind of a bummer because it's Halloween, and I think they're scheduled to have rain. It's forecasted rain uh, during like peak trick or treating times, so uh, you know that may or may not slow kids down. Uh, I wouldn't let it slow me down if I was a kid. Anyway, I'm about to feed Gabriel one more time and then take him next door to Aunt Susie. She's offered to babysit because I have the opportunity to do something uh, unique. I have a friend of mine here in Dallas sent me a text and I uh, wanted to see if I was available today for a couple hours and we're going to go do something really cool. Well, something he does all the time, but I never, ever, ever, ever get to do. So, and Gabriel's not old enough to come with me yet. Maybe, maybe in a few years. Anyway, I'm going to take him next, feed him, take him next door and then go on my adventure. So my buddy Jordan is a pilot here in the DFW area and yesterday he sent me a text message and said, hey, um, I've got a plane, I got a jet that I need to take from the from Dallas Love Airport to uh, 
Fort Worth to the airport in Fort Worth. He said, do you want to come with me? <laughs> and I was like, uh, yeah. He said, it'd just be me and you on a private jet for about 20 minutes. So I was like, absolutely, dude, that'd be awesome. So um, I'm headed to Love Field right now to take a private jet to Fort Worth. So I've said this before, I'm not sure if I've mentioned it in the vlog, but uh, my friends, all of my friends are way cooler than I am. I've got one that's a photographer for the University of Tennessee and he's on a first name basis with like professional football players and stuff like that. And then there's Jordan here who's a pilot and he gave me directions and I've just parked the van that I'm driving between an Audi and a uh, Lexus. I'm wearing, um, I feel underdressed for, for this short flight that's just he and I. I'm gonna walk into this place and I'm gonna be like, oh my gosh. Anyway, here we go. How much do I weigh? Yeah. Uh, I don't know. 180. 190, 180. Yeah, let's go. No, no, no. 160. 160, 170 is 350. No bags. I got 20 pounds of bags. 180. <laughs> I think your manifest said like 200. 200? On your ID. Yeah, 200 pounds. It says 200 pounds? <laughs> yeah, on your ID. This may be the richest I've ever felt in my entire life. It's cool.
awesome. Uh, honestly, we, we, it, was, it was cool. It was a really cool experience. We flew to Fort Worth and then got an Uber back here. And so now it's about six o'clock. I gotta get home. I gotta fight through some Dallas traffic to get home so that I can uh, hopefully be there for a few trick-or-treaters and to help Sarah out with uh, bedtime routines and stuff like that. And I'm kind of starving. But uh, anyway, that was awesome. And um, you know, I don't think I can really beat that. That's gonna be a cool thing. It is time <laughs> to put the candy in the cauldron. hoping this little guy will be cool because his afternoon nap wasn't quite long enough and he's been a little fussy this evening so I'm gonna fill the cauldron with candy and then we're gonna go put on our costume <laughs> and mommy doesn't have a costume so does that sound like a good idea are you excited about Halloween? Are you excited about Halloween? Nope. What do you think, bud? What do you think about yourself? <laughs> um, so getting the mustache on him, he acted <laughs> like he was being tortured. That's why it's kind of terrible. Oh, but it's funny. Oh, it's funny. Yeah. What do you think? What do you think? <laughs> you want to go get some candy from Aunt Susie? You look like Errol Flynn. <laughs> Are you the grumpiest pirate of all the pirates? Yes, in pirate land, yes he is. Are you a grumpy pirate? <laughs> I like your big bell buckle. <laughs> Somebody kissed you on the forehead. Yes, they did. <laughs> what? You gonna start walking? <laughs> Yes, there is no pulling it up. Yeah. It's, it's just. He's got a little. He's short. <laughs> a little bitty feller. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, baby. Come on. Oh. Come on. You may have to pick him up, sissy. Don't cry. Don't let go. Gabriel. Hey. Hey. Boo boo. Where are all the trick or treaters? Oh, no. Where are all the trick-or-treaters? Is it too light and they're not here yet? Aw, oh, buddy. Here's some smiles. Oh my goodness. You have to go to bed soon. I think all the trick-or-treaters are gonna come. Once it gets dark. But hopefully they don't wake you up. That's not good. So how you wanna spend your Halloween? Eating remotes. The remote's your favorite. You gotta stand on your flat feet. You need to stand on your tiptoes. Uh, yeah. Charlie, the dogs. Aren't a fan of Fourth of July or Halloween because they bark the whole time. I think it's going to be a rough night. <laughs> Is that a good remote? <laughs> You're tired of Sleepiest, grumpiest pirate. Oh, baby. <laughs> I made it home. <laughs> and this 
This angry pirate, he's done. He doesn't want to do it anymore. So I'm glad I got to see him in his Halloween, his second Halloween costume. I'm going to go take up my post in front of the house to hand out candy. And Mommy's going to put this one down for the night. Happy Halloween, Gabriel. You say, arr. <laughs> he was the cutest pirate, too. Oh, <laughs> sweet baby. <laughs> We go. <laughs> okay. All right, our trick or treat station is all set. Susie's over there with hers. Now we're just waiting on the kids to start showing up. I'm now costumed up as a vampire. I have teeth, but they don't fit very well. Or terrifying, right? <laughs> Starting to get dark on us here, people. And cold. Sarah, man, this was a bad idea. The backlight's even worse. Sarah, as you can or cannot tell, did not dress up. Here, I'm moving on. Uh. Was a little busy. There, now. You can see? Your son was not happy. I'm dressed as a vampire. Another Halloween in the books. Yay. Next year we're going to go trick-or-treating. Yep. Have Gabriel will be able to participate. Stay up past 6.30. <laughs> not just be a grouchy pirate. Grumpy pirate. Grumpy pirate. So, anyway... The trick-or-treaters are done for the night. I've packed up our candy, what's left of it, and I'm gonna sit down and edit this so it's ready for tomorrow morning. <laughs> so, happy Halloween happy from the Halloween. Upshaws. We're gonna watch Hocus Pocus. <laughs> Y'all have a good night, and we'll see you guys on Friday. Like, comment, subscribe. Like, comment, subscribe.